Well, good afternoon again. I don't know what happened, but this is my second taping. <laughs> okay, it is um, 628. I'll let that one run. It's only about nine to less than 10 minutes. Let's see what happens now. I thought I did a good job, but apparently I did not. Let's start off with a fresh sound saying coming from 2 Corinthians 10.4. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes, we have a lot of strongholds that need to be pulled down now. So we do need the mighty strength of God to undo all the things that we have done um, that are against the will and the ways of God. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The back is coming from Acts 1, 8, and it says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Ye shall receive power, and after that, the Holy Ghost should come upon you. Now, I really want to get to Leviticus 18. I tries to at least read this once or twice a year as a continual reminder to the people of what we should be doing and what we should not be doing and what is allowable and what is not allowable, okay? So, in this book, it simply says, it's a little bit more detailed, in the Colorful Bible, it says, Instructions on Sexual Morality. Okay? In this, it says, Unlawful Sexual Relations. You see why we need to read this at least once or twice a year. Not that it's going to make a big difference to the world right now, but it still needs to be heard. All right? So, the first... Five verses are read for discipleship, and I'm going to use this new international um, Bible just to be sure that the wording is understood by the listeners, okay? The first one, it says, the Lord said to Moses, verse 2, speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God, verse 3. You must not do as they do in Egypt, where you used to live, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practice, verse 4. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. He is constantly reminding us of who he is. Okay, five, keep my decrees and laws for the man who obeys them will live by them. I am the Lord. Okay, verse six, all the way to verse 20. And I don't know if it's going to allow me because I, I don't know how much time I actually have. But we're going to run through these um 30 verses so let's let's at least get through the first 15 of them okay let's roll five i will repeat keep my decrees and laws for the man who obeys them will live by them i am the lord six no one is to approach any close relative to have sexual relationship i am the lord no one Okay, seven. Do not dishonor your father by having sexual relationship with your mother. She is your mother. Do not have relationships with her. That means sons should not be laying with their mothers. And I'm not talking about babies. I'm, I'm not talking about the five-year-old. I'm not talking about the ten-year-old. But once they start going into... Teenage years, they are not to be laying in the bed with you. It doesn't matter how sick they are. 
Okay, but see, this mentality of the world today is, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's my son, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, those of you who feel that way, do your thing. And God will deal with you accordingly. Okay, do not dishonor your father by having sexual relationship with your mother. She is your mother. Do not have relationships with her. Hey, do not have sexual relationship with your father's wife. That would dishonor your father. Nine, do not have sexual relationship with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same house or elsewhere. She is still your sister. Okay. Ten, do not have sexual relationship with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter, and that would dishonor you. Okay. Do not have sexual relationship with your son's daughter. Or your daughter's daughter that would dishonor you. 11. Do not have sexual relationship with the daughter of your father's wife. Born to your father. She is your sister. 12. Do not have sexual relationship with your father's sister. She is your father's close relative. Also your auntie. Whether she is blood auntie or adopted auntie. She is still your auntie. 13. Do not have sexual relationship with your mother's sister because she is your mother's close relative. 14. Do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relationship. She is your aunt. 15. Do not have sexual relationship with your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. Do not have relationship with her. 16. Do not have sexual relationship with your brother's wife. That would dishonor your brother. And all of this is going on today. Like it's going out of style or something. 17. Do not have sexual relationship with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relationship with either her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are her close relation, her close relative. That is wickedness. You should not be dating a woman, and then next thing you know, you're dating her daughter, and you're dating the next daughter, and you're just going through the family. Let me repeat that one again. Do not have sexual relationship with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relationship with either her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are her close relatives. That is wickedness. Nine, do not take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relationship with her while your wife is living. What does that mean? That while your wife is alive, even if you are divorced, you cannot have sexual relationship with her sister. What is the qualification? She must be dead for you to touch her sister. You cannot do it while she lives. Even if she lives outside of the country, you still cannot touch her sister because her sister is alive. All right. It says, do not. Take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relationship with her while your wife is living. 19. Do not approach a woman to have sexual relationship during the uncleanness of her monthly period. And a lot of men love that. But you are not supposed to touch the woman while she is in her moment. That preparation is not for you, men. It is for the child. And if it is not used, it is expelled by the body. Let me repeat that one also. Do not approach a woman to have sexual relationship during the uncleanness of her monthly period. 20. Do not have sexual relationship with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself with her. All of this is going on today. All of it. 
You even see stepfathers dating their daughters. And because they are not blood related, it makes it okay in their sight. But what is right in the sight of man is not always right in the sight of God. Remember that. 21. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Malek, for, your, for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. The Lord gives you those children. Not so you can sacrifice them to a, 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 a fake God and throw them in a fire. And use them as a human sacrifice. This too goes on today. 22. Oh God. Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is detestable. That's homosexuality. Whether it's two men or two women. It is detestable. Okay. Let me repeat that as well. Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is detestable. It's an abomination. Twenty-three. Do not have sexual relationship with an animal and defile yourself with it. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relationship with it. That is a perversion. And this is going on as well. There is nothing you can't find on YouTube. It is quite reproachable. I'll repeat that one as well. Do not have relationship with sexual relationship with an animal and defile yourself with it. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relationship with it. That is a perversion and men do it today. Because you have found, veterinarians have found greyhounds with human sperm within the hound, within horses, within sheep, within pigs. One anchor man 20 years ago took a hamster, tied a string to it, and, and put it up his rectum. These are the monstrosities that are happening today. And you think we're, we're, we're going to be blessed by that, right? Can I finish it, Father? Let's try. 24. Do not defile yourself in any of these ways because this is how the nations that I am going to drive out before you became defiled. 25. Even the land was defiled. So I punished it for its sin and the land vomited out its inhabitants, 26. But you must keep my decrees and my laws. The native born and the alien living among you must not do any of these detestable things, 27. For all these things were done by the people who lived in the land before you and the land became defiled, 28. We're almost there. And if... You defile the land, it will vomit you out as it vomited out the nations that were before you, even in the biblical times. 29. Everyone who does any of these detestable things, such as such persons, must be cut off from their people. 30. Keep my requirements and do not follow any of the detestable customs that were practiced before you came, and do not defile yourself with them. I am the Lord, your God, period. And that is all 30 verses of Leviticus 18, reminding us of all the do nots. Please heed to them that we may encourage God to bless our world instead of continuing to curse it. Thank you very much for listening to us here at Spiritual Water. My name is Brenda Guerrero, and as always, may the peace of God be upon you. May the protection of God surround you and all those you love, and may the will of God be manifested. Thank you for listening. I love you. 
But as you already know, God loves you more. Thank you for listening. Have a great evening.